meeting up with Jeff. Jeff finally picked up his sprinter, so it's super exciting. And we're going to go to uh, uh, pluck and pull or pick and pull or whatever. Uh, scrapyard. We're going to go to a scrapyard and pick up some parts for him because he's got a few broken things that he wants to try and find parts for. It's a bit iffy here and uh, we're like north of the, of the Rust Belt. So the, these parts on these cars, they don't last, you know, they really, cars don't last very long here in Ontario, so. Scrapyards aren't as great as they are down south, but you know, we'll make do, we'll, hopefully we'll find something. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for some cool RV parts too. Let's do this. There she is. That's a big one. It's a giant thing. It's a three quarter ton though, eh? This is it. Blank slate. Gee, this is big. Yeah. I, it's hard to believe my van's probably the same it's, size. Yeah, it's probably very similar. Like, uh, wow, look at all that headroom you have! But yeah, That's like goes, three it, inches! And it goes all the way I am back. so jealous! Oh, it's not looking good. It's, it's, uh, it's a little off. I thought... A sure. wide stance. Look at this. Look at this. Wide stance. I'm, I'm really torn on what I want to do uh, with some of it. Jeff is a real wheeler dealer. He picked up a lot of stuff on Kijiji already. He managed to get himself a three-way fridge second hand. That's huge. If you're building your own camper van and you can get those three-way fridges, they're stupid expensive new. Like really expensive. He's working out all the battery banks, inverters. It's really exciting. I'm getting, I'm nerding out about all the gear again. Just when I told you guys it's not about the gear. Okay, tiny little four-cylinder turbocharged engine this bad boy. You're saying 20. 18 to 26, 18 to, tw depending 18 on what to you're 26, driving. depending on what you're driving. Holy crap. Oh, I'm so jealous of just that engine. All right, wish us luck. We're gonna find some good shit. Look at this, this is what you need. You need this right here. That, that's performance. That'll make your van go way zoom. You'll like it. There it is, there's a donor one. She's not in, uh, well, if, if you're looking for panels, you ain't gonna find them here, that's for sure. No. It's like somebody got halfway into a van build, van life build, look at that. And the Reflectix, there she is. Double bubble. I'm gonna pull out this seat right here. Came here to get parts so that he could get his van safety. First thing he's pulling out, completely cosmetic. Completely comfort Completely. Comfort related. Yeah, the stuff that we came here for, again, is not here. Second time I've come to a pole yard for parts, and uh, I've been let down to some I've degree. Let down. The, the problem is, there's not a lot of spinners out there. No. It's, it's like, it's the rare beast of the, of the water. Maybe it's because she's just so reliable. Maybe this is a good omen. There you go, there's your little engine. She's seen better days. Here we go, finally found something my vintage. All right, there's my starter switch. Right there. This looks like a... No, it's an eight cylinder. This is probably the uh, 318, 5.2 liter. Nice. So this right here houses my starter switch and that's the bit I've been frying lately. So I just fried it, it'll give me my uh, my power window's back and my blower for my fan. It's got a thick coating of human slime, but you know, it's out. I don't have the key, so I'm not sure if I can actually even get this key mechanism out. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Hopefully it works though. I want my air conditioning back. the door off because we actually just need the hinges but uh, they got this weird hex bolt I don't know yeah, I've never seen it before it's got a seat I bought a little little perks I got the old man old man window covers these are bomb it's gonna be good good haul 40 bucks 49 49 dollars with tax 49 dollars wow. my god guys look it's Japanese van life oh. It's so little! Look at all that glass. Look at the staircase that you can turn that into. You put it like a this thing, this thing's amazing. Oh my god, I want this so much. 
I don't, I don't even think I would fit in it laying down. Yeah, you, you need to leave the back open, right? But I mean, look at the look at the roof on that. Yeah, that's so cool. Look at that. And it's right hand drive. We're back at the van now. Spent the last 45 minutes negotiating this wheel off. Whew. So you're not getting very far. The uh, sockets we bought to take the back door off to replace that hinge are too big to fit into that hole, so that's great. And then uh, the bolts are, were seized real bad. We managed to finally get those things off after like an hour of kicking and screaming. And now the wheel's seized onto the van, obviously, which should have been obvious to anybody with any experience, but uh, not us. So. <laughs> We put the bolts back on, not all the way tight, and we're gonna drive around the block bit, hopefully knock it a little loose. Man in a van. Cake 2.0, the better van, hashtag. No, it's not the better van. I don't know what you're talking about. Have you seen the size of this van? I like the diesel. It's, it's. It feels like, dri see, this is the difference. Like, mine feels like driving a big, sluggish minivan. Yeah. This thing, because of the diesel, the way it rumbles, definitely, and oh my god, that engine brake. Oh. It stops so hard. That does not glide. No. Um, this thing feels like a truck. There's <laughs> a fucking Christmas tree of lights down here. I like this van. I like it. Um, it feels very planted, and you don't expect that given uh, how, like, these things don't look super sturdy from the outside. It feels, yeah, it feels, it feels like it feels like you're in a tank. Yeah, it feels it's, very it's like, robust. It, yeah. Here, come right to the floor. But it's funny, it's eight corners and it banks exactly like my van, you know? Like, I just kind of look for the same spots in the mirrors. And once you drive a van, they're all the same after a while. Yeah. You know? I give this van, um, I give it like an 80 out of 100. You're at 80%. It feels it's, good. It's, yeah, it, it feels good. It needs Your a... Your throttle response, top notch. Well, it's there. You, you the should... Engine's there. When you... Uh, well, right now the, the mass airflow sensor is not on, but... Because hmm. uh, I, I, it, it was causing issues because it's, it's, it's like super dirty or whatever. Um, and they had no balls initially. Like the, the van yeah. just... Uh, Oh, did not accelerate. There's Whereas, so much potential here, it just needs to be fixed. Oh yeah, exactly. It's so, so great, but it just needs to be fixed. It's, it's certainly gonna, the this, right kind of band. This bro. is exactly to the demand. This year, it's just in that efficiency. Oh god. Yeah. You're gonna have so much fun in this van. I'm mm. kind of a little jealous. Except for that I see the mountain of work. I see how much we sweat today, and didn't get like anything done. Well, I think I think probably what, what my solution will be is to try to source the parts as cheap as possible, and then let them just deal with the labor. Like they're experts. They yeah, know. it might save. Yeah, you might save a bit of money that way. Yeah, if I can save like five hundred bucks getting parts, like either used or sourced or whatever. Yeah. Then, on a large part, that's enough, and I can I can still do a few little things. Having right? like, having wrenched for the last year on my van, I gotta say, the shop rates that even even here in Ontario, which are some of the most expensive shop rates I've seen, like in North America. Yeah. Worth every freaking penny. Oh yeah. But you'll often spend more time in spec and and mean yeah. to you right like in the same way these guys like if you know with the way that the the tire was was uh fused or whatever yeah you know like when they say it's you know it's an hour and a half labor to go and change your brakes well if they have to unseason the tire and that, the that's bolts you and, know you know what i mean like yeah they may charge you a little extra but it's not going to be the amount of time they spend you know what i mean like so respect your mechanic get a good mechanic and then respect him it's a, it's, a, it's trust you can have good trust for that's sure it. trust is important but uh, once they've earned your trust, you know, don't second guess it. Just go with it. Because, trust me, this shit is not easy. I'm just looking forward to the point where I'm rich enough that I can just pay someone to do all my mechanics work for me. Yeah. As much as I like the idea of engines and motors and, and I like what they give me, I, uh, I don't know that I want to do this every day. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> Okay. 
Here's a moment of truth. Did your reckless driving pay off? It's uh, not looking so good there, Captain. Seems to still be very seized. Yeah. Still very seized. Jesus. Huh. We well. just wanted to get the damn wheel. Well, at least we got a lot done. That's, that's the... <laughs> Do you want to go get some shawarma? Let's go get some food. Okay, great. We worked hard for this. We earned this. Begin the shawarma montage. The shawarma montage. I think, I think the, the key phrase there is we tried to work hard. There, there was real effort. There was real effort. In Terrible the... execution. <laughs> In A for effort. F for execution. A for shawarmas. Oh.